Oh, it's a baby invasion. I can't see anything. Hello? <laughs> there we go. There's just the singular. Oh, okay. Or it can cover up their face. Alrighty. It like perfectly blurred it. Alright, Cassandra's staying home. And it's a baby boy. Look at all these kids. Oh my god, now she wants to have 10. Now she wants to have 10. Hi guys, and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. Today we are continuing our Sims to play. This is the beginning of a very special stream, by the way, because this episode marks the beginning of, I believe, the fourth rotation. Four. Let me let me double check and make sure it's four. Yes, this is the beginning of the fourth rotation. Four. four. So I have done four rotations with everyone, which is crazy that I'm this far into Pleasant View. Who knew? But today we're going to be continuing with the Lothario family. The Lotharios are always the first one. If you play in the scripted events order, then you start with the Lotharios. So we are continuing the fourth generation with the Lotharios. I just want to put this out there that next week I will be moving out of this roach invested dorm and back to my house. Oh, the off face got cut off. You guys see that? That's sad. But yeah, I'll be moving out next week. So there'll be no stream next week. I hope that's okay, guys. I'm sorry, I gotta move out. Uh, and I am moving out on a Saturday, but I promise the streams will not be better quality. The background will be cute once again. I won't have this towel that I can't put anywhere else because there's nowhere else my room to hang it. I stream every single Saturday at 7 p.m. EST if you guys would like to come and join. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. Thank you. Without further ado, let's get into the Lotharios. You'll have to do some recap because it's been a minute since I played them on my channel. Rip Dawn's hair, I know. Yeah, he's balding. Poor guy. But here's Dawn. He- oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to get that close to him, but hey. <laughs> um, It's very- we're gonna have a very intimate- uh stream with Don's receding hairline. He is becoming an elder in six days, so the hairline's gotta go. I don't know why, but in my head, um, I feel like Don will be balding because it's just payback for everything he's done. Someone in, in chat said it's re retribution for all the women that he's played, and I think that that is only fair. Listen, he plays all these women and he has to lose something and it's gonna be his hair this time. So we're gonna be playing out the Lothario family in summer. Now, as you can probably tell, they have a lot of kids and that is Miss Cassandra's doing and she wants to have another baby. So we'll probably get on that in the stream as well. We'll have her have another baby, but they live in a very beautiful house. This is by Fratana. I linked it the first time I played the Lotharios, I'm pretty sure. So here's the made over goth household. It's very nice. They have a very bougie house. What about body hair? No, he keeps his body hair. Listen, he's Italian. Italians, uh, in, I'm speaking from my own experience. My great grandpa was super hairy. So, and he was straight out of Italy. He had like hair covering every inch of his arms and stomach and all that so he gets to keep his he gets to keep his body hair my mom is texting me hold on my mother is texting me during stream she's trying to show me her christmas tree all right i'll show i'll show you guys her christmas tree because she wants she wants everyone to see hold on let me show you i'm not sure if she wants everyone to see but she texted me like four times all right there's the cats as well in front of the christmas tree there's the christmas tree at her house there we go all right mom got her little air time she texted me like four different pictures of the same christmas tree <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that is that is what's happening in the Lothario household. We're gonna be playing them through summer. Oh my gosh, hello guys. They're getting a little handsy over here, aren't they? I'm gonna turn up my game because it's quite it's quite quiet. Lights galore. Yes, my mom loves the lights. It's karma for all the women. Yes, it's only fair. It's only fair. What are they talking about? Is he telling a dirty joke? Oh, yep, there he goes, telling a dirty joke. Cassandra loves it. She's like, yes, hubby. I love the dirty jokes. She she cracks up. Listen, she is so in love with Dawn. I feel so bad because she's getting so played and she doesn't even know because Dawn's been hooking up with every woman in Pleasant View. All right, so she's scared of having another baby and she but she also wants to have another baby. So I'm not sure what she wants. She's a little conflicted. She thinks she got him whipped with that braid. Poor soul. I do feel bad for her. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna hammer on the piano. He's really good at piano because he just autonomously plays it all the time. I love the piano playing in Sims too. It sounds so good. I love it. I loves 
Wait, he just twerked while telling them. I don't know why, but they shake their ass when they tell your jokes in Sims 2. I don't know. That's just like the animation. All right, let's see. All right, so I'm going to go through all the kids. Should I go through all the kids? Because there's a lot. So here's Dawn. Oh, right. I forgot he's been cheating on like everyone. So he has other kids too. He's got Stevie Caliente, who is Nina's daughter and Dawn's daughter, who's his youngest. And then he's got Kate and Catherine broke with Brandy, who, oh my God, Brandy has a slider because there's so many siblings. There's just so many siblings in this town. And then we have all of Cassandra and Dawn's kids. So it's a lot. There's Belladonna, Bex, Bonnie, and Brooks. If you watch the first ever stream of this family, we had them in the first ever stream. So that's all the way back then. That was three rotations ago. How sweet is that? And then, yeah, so that's Dawn's, Dawn's story. He wants to be defeat the Grim Reaper, which is interesting. And then we have miss cassandra over here she's just chilling she's living her best life she's a field researcher level three i don't know how she's so low level because she's been working on this career for her entire life but you know what she has had a lot of maternity leave granted so maybe that's it and dawn is only level five they have a lot of money from mortimer and mortimer gave them like the house as a uh, christmas i said christmas i mean like a wedding gift and stevie's yeah stevie has a cute name i love that name stevie it's so cute and then all right so moving on to the firstborn they were quads so they were all born at the same time but the firstborn is belladonna she's the first one to pop out of cassandra and she is in private school because they're rich um and i'm not sure she what's really cool is a lot of these kids may end up living their life being single she does want to go to college so i'm gonna lock that in for her now these kids have six days till they become adults so i'm not sure i don't think we'll actually we might get to send them off to college which will be great because then i can clear up some space in this house um so i'm gonna lock in going to college for her and then next up we have bex up here who is a romance sim belladonna is a fortune sim by the way so yeah bex is gonna be just like his dad and he currently has a romance going on with one of the broke siblings i forget which one it is I think it might be Asher though. I can't tell, but this was when they were teenagers. So they haven't really talked much recently because Asher's been away at college. Bye Sky. Can you make chat bigger on screen? It's hard to read while watching the VOD on YouTube. Should I make it bigger? Yeah, I can make it bigger for you Sky. There you go. I made it a touch bigger. I hope it's okay. Have you built that house? No, this is from Fertana. This house is from Fertana. And then next up we have um, Brooks here, who is a fortune sim and he wants to go to college. And then last but not least in the quads, we have Bonnie. And Bonnie wants to sneak out with Griffin, who is the burb son. Thank you, Dory. Oh my goodness. Thank Finally you. Finally catching alive. Thank you. 10 months, Dory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Dory hasn't been here in a minute. Missed you, Dory. But this is uh, Bonnie. She currently has a romance or she has a crush on Griffin, who is Jen and John Burb's son. So I'm going to lock that in. She wants to sneak out with him. I'm going to have her go to the phone. If you don't know in The Sims 2, this is a really cool. I, I think it might be a little bit too late because it is five in the morning. Um, but we can definitely show this off. I don't think I've ever showed this off before. But... Yeah, we can have her sneak out with Griffin. She also wants to go to college, so I might lock that in actually just so she doesn't lose the want, so I can have some rationale to send her off to college. And then last but not least, we have the youngest two who are Harlow and Harris here. And yeah, that is uh, Cassandra and Dawn's, all their kids. All of them have black hair because Cassandra and Dawn have black hair. <laughs> They're a little bit hard. Like I'm, I'm trying to distinguish them and it's a little bit hard to remember, but. Sandra's watching some TV. Um, Dawn, why don't you make something up? Let's see. I'll have to make some toaster pastry. <clears throat> All right, go, go eat, Dawn. Yes. Throw that in the oven. Please don't burn down the house. I swear. I'm going to lose my mind. I might have them try for another baby. I did change my fertility curve, so she should be able to get pregnant. Oh, he incinerated the toaster pastries. All right, I'm going to have her go upstairs. Her and Dawn are going to go and create another life, <laughs> another one. And yes, I do know that they are at a household max. I do have a mod that enables me to have more Sims on the lot. So that is how I'm, that is how I'm doing that. I'm also going to set up an autosaver on this lot because this lot is so big that I think 
the game may crash. So hopefully that won't happen. All the towns in this kid look loosely related. I'm not, yeah, I'm not disputing that. They do, um, they do look related. There's a lot of black haired Sims in Pleasant View. Like Brandy has black hair. Um, what else has black hair? Mary Sue has black hair. So that can be passed down to her and any potential Daniel offspring. So there's a lot of options. <laughs> there's a lot of ways you can get black haired Sims in Pleasant View. And it is seeming to be that there are going to be a, a whole generation of black haired children coming up in Pleasant View. All right, so I'm gonna have these two try for baby. I'm gonna have Cassandra, like, what's it called? Initiate, that's the word. <clears throat> and I'll let them do their business. Oh, there is bathtub with shower and water flows. Thank you, Andre. That sounds like a poetic prose. That sounds like something that you would write in like a, a poem. Bathtub with shower and water flows. What a beautiful sentiment. I'm gonna have someone call the repair person. Where's our phone? <laughs> Can't tell where their phone is. Oh, game's lagging. Okay, cool. Where's the, where's the phone? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's have him come downstairs and come and call. Oh, the random rolled to zero. Wait, does she? Does that mean she got pregnant or not? It's, a good problem. it's the full stop that ties it all together. <laughs> it's so poetic, right? Everyone's getting ready for school. Oh, oh my God, that's scaring me. Thank you. Yes, I will save. Thank you, thank you. I'm not sure if she got pregnant or not. We're gonna have to check. There's a 75% chance. So fingers crossed that she got pregnant. I did set up my custom fertility curve. Also, why is... She's standing over the shower where her sister is taking a bath. I don't know. Um, go ahead and call right here. Call service. I'll have to call your repair person. Repairman, there we go. He also wants to buy a cell phone, so I'm gonna have him come over here to the computer and buy a cell phone. So excited to be finally catching live, usually watching YouTube. Where can I get the autosaver and how does it work? So um, I'm not sure who makes it. It's by, I don't know. You can type in autosaver sim soon. It'll probably come up, but you just put it down. I put it underneath the house and then you click on it and you can change like how often, how many hours in between each save you want it to be. Oh yes, I do want to buy a phone. And you can like view how much you have it. So my game will save every 12 hours. Yeah, it's just pretty easy to use, pretty simple. Um, all right, let me have her come over here and buy. She wants to buy a video gaming system. And I feel like these kids would have all that stuff because they are rich. They are rich kids. Don't get it twisted. The Lothario kids are very rich. They're very bougie. They go to private school. Did I get these ones in a private school? I can't remember. Oh, no, I didn't. OK, so I'm going to have to call the headmaster because these two should be in private school. They're. I think I just forgot to invite him over. OK, guys, put the. Put the toy down. Come on. <laughs> let's stop. Let's stop yelling. Let's stop yelling here. Oh my gosh, they're stuck. They're stuck. Am I gonna, I'm gonna have to teleport them. I'm just gonna teleport them outside. All right. I know it's like, this is a very high up house. So there's lots of levels here. Um, I might have Don actually invite. Oh, he's in a speedo. Gotta love that. That was a jump scare and a half. Hi, Kenya. That's so awesome and super helpful. Yes, you're welcome. He's crying. Why are you crying? No crying in front of your children. You need to be their support system here. Be your children's support system. They're Listen, they're going through it. They got 10 other siblings they got to worry about. And you know what? Don keeps all of his children that are not officially with Cassandra. He keeps them under wraps. So these kids could potentially be meeting and having a crush on their own sibling. And they would never know because Don wants to keep it under wraps. Listen, I mean, he's got every reason to cry, but... If it isn't the consequences of my own actions, for real. He was the one that got with all those women. Why is she a floating body? Why is she a floating body? Okay, you need to hang up the phone because <laughs> your toaster pastries are done. When I first played Sims 2, I didn't understand pathing issues. My first household, the CPS person came for my child because I did not understand my Sim was trapped between beds. Yeah, the I used to think that the rotting in Sims 2 was like super good, but recently I've been uh, kind of like... Maybe I was wrong about that opinion because the routing sometimes it's fine, but like other times it's an absolute mess. Sometimes it can be an absolute mess. The maid's here and we have some bills to pay. 
All right, I'm going to call... Should we call... I was going to call over, like, a woman so they could woohoo with them. He needs 10 different sims. I am keeping track of all the sims that he has woohooed with. So he has woohooed... Donald has woohooed with Marissa and Bendette, Cassandra, Nina, Dina, Kaylin, Melanie, Fuchs. But her name... It, it looks like it's F-U-C-H-S. So say that out loud for me. Uh, Brandy Broke and Coral. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he almost has 10 Sims he's woohooed with. We need Sims 2 ancestry test. Yes, he is like setting his kids up for his grandkids up for being like inbred. And I'm serious. Like, how are these kids supposed to know? Because he has he has other kids in this town that are he does not he does not tell his kids that he has these other children. So what happens when like Catherine and Kate meet? Harris and they have a crush on him, you know, when they grow up together and they suddenly found out, oh my God, that's my half sibling. It's like, that's messed up, man. That is super messed up. Fucks, that's, yeah, F-U-C-H-S. -F -U -H How you say that out? Is it Fuchs? It must be Fuchs, I think. When the four branches of the Lotharios collide. How about Kaylin? Uh, Kaylin? Kaylin and Dawn never had any kids together. Um, but Kaylin has children with Daniel Pleasant, so that's probably why. <clears throat> Don is a busy guy. He is. He definitely is. Anyway, he has no room to cry because he has single-handedly set his children up for failure. Like, I would be so mad if he was my father. I really would. And, and all this information came out, like how he's been hiding this stuff. You know, I would feel bad for Cassandra too. Like, let's not forget about Cassandra. He has, I have no sympathy for Dawn. So when I see him walking around the house crying, uh-uh, zero sympathy for him. Save your tears for the pillow. Let's hope they hate each other exactly. <laughs> let's hope they hate each other. <clears throat> or the couple are actually half siblings. Oh, there's a Law and Order SVU episode. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be Dawn's children for real. All right, so all the teenagers are home. I'm also gonna invite over the headmaster tonight if I haven't already. I think I already did because I can't invite them over. Um, because we need to get these kiddos into private school. Hi, Jorwill. Are there any negative repercussions to leading saves on my Sims 3 folder? Nope. There are not. Thank you for the save. There are no negative repercussions. You delete them as much as you want. <clears throat> I hate the headmaster. It's a little bit hard to do the headmaster scenario when this house is really cramped like this. But um, I'm gonna have to suffer, I guess. It's fine. I'll figure it out. All right, so, ooh, Belladonna. Okay, so you guys remember Dallas Goth is the child of Dina and Mortimer, and he's also a bad boy in town. Belladonna's into bad boys? Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> Belladonna isn't a bad boys. Hey. Oh my gosh. This is this must be so awkward to, for Don because he's like, I slept with your mother. That is really awkward. Look at all this homework in here. It's amazing. Love it. Okay, so all these kids want to go to college, so I'm gonna force them to do their homework because otherwise they're not gonna be able to go to college. Well, they're related. That's her uncle. Wait, what? Wait, Belladonna? Hold on a second. Belladonna is related to Dallas? Oh, he is. Or she is. <laughs> um, I hope- wait, I feel like they kissed- oh, okay, never mind. I forgot that Mortimer is Cassandra's dad. Okay, that was awkward. Listen, this town is so connected that, like, I forget people are related, you know what I'm saying? Family kiss babes, okay, yeah. Well, it's awkward. <laughs> Did you redo the house? No, it's by Fratana. <laughs> what does private school even do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. I have a mod that you can charge for private school. I should probably turn that on. So I guess they're just hanging out with their cousin. Or uncle. Uncle. Yeah. Uncle. Dallas is here. He's a- he's- he's- I don't know who I'm gonna pair him up with, but when he was a child, he looked like a bird. But now he's like really good looking. Like he's cute. I don't know. He looks a lot like Dina. Like he has Dina's eyes to a T. He looks so much like Dino. Right in front of my salad. <laughs> Maid's done. All right, we need some food. I might have us call for like pizza or something. 
Why is the maid just sitting here? Save again? I just saved, guys. <laughs> Don probably doesn't even know that's his kid. No, Dallas is not Don's kid. Uh, you mean, wait, do you mean his own kid is his kid? Dallas is Mortimer's and Dina's kid. But yeah, I guess Don did sleep with his nephew's mom, which would be Dina. That's a little bit weird. Oh, pizza. Yeah, I need, we, let's have, let's order some pizza for everybody. There's a lot of Sims here. We can order some pizza. Um, Cassandra just got home from work. Actually, you know what? No, Cassandra's home and she can cook. Cassandra wants to bring, no. I hate when, I, I hate when they bring over, they bring home the coworkers. I hate that. Oh, Cassandra got promoted to level four. Good job, Cassie. I'm gonna have her cook up some chili con carne. I hope no one is sick because this household, they will all get wiped out. If someone is sick. Hydration check. Thank you. I love some pizza. Same. That sounds good right now. Water tastes good. I like water. So the headmaster will be here in like two hours ish. And let's have Don go use the bathroom. There's a lot of Sims that I have to pay attention to in this household, so it's really tough for me. <clears throat> Cassie's making up some, I don't know what. What I have her make? Chili con carne? Was that what I had her make? I think so. I love the chili con carne. I don't know why, but I always have my Sims make it. It's like one of my favorite foods for them to make. All right, so let's, uh, Bonnie wants to buy a cell phone. So I'm gonna go upstairs and have her go and buy one. I'm gonna have her pay the bills too. Like she's a fully grown woman. <laughs> she's a woman with a 401k, a full-time job. Oh, headmaster's here, I think. Is that what I saw? No, we have another hour for the headmaster. I got baited by like the hydrant, the car, the car passing hydrant. I baited me, I thought the headmaster was here. Water tastes good. I like water. Listen, water tastes good, man. Like, don't judge. Like, take take a take a sip of ice cold water and tell me it doesn't taste good. Look at everyone, all crowding around. How cute. Cassandra's feeding uh, a whole village. Even her nephews here. <laughs> I don't even know if they've ever talked. Have they ever met? I don't even know. Yeah, she's feeding a village in this house. Also, the headmaster will be here like any minute, so. Need to make sure we're all ready. It's so cute how they're all eating together. I love it. She's playing the gaming system, but she's still not having fun. I don't know what to do. Have him go and grab some too. This is Harris. Harris is up here. He's got curly hair, which is really cute. Gotta go. Good luck, everyone. Bye, Ash. Have a good day or night, I guess. I just checked and private school actually makes kids needs drop down less. Oh, really? I didn't know that. That's so interesting. I did not know that. That is a really good piece of information. Okay, so Cassandra, I'm gonna have her invite in the headmaster. Vince Walter. I love how they have this photo Will Wright right here. That's amazing. I love it. All right, go and grab a little, go grab, go grab the headmaster. And then if there, is there any food left over? I think my whole family, my whole village ate all the food. <laughs> Isn't Dallas her brother? Okay, so, oh, you were right. Dallas is her half brother. Flora, you are right. This family is so big that I am getting the relations confused. Okay, let's set the record straight once and for all. Dallas is her half brother, who is the child of Dina and deceased Mortimer. You are correct, Flora. Thank you for clocking that. Now, we remember that Dina has Dallas, Isabel, and Prince, who are all Mortimer's children. So those would all technically be Cassandra's half siblings. Yes. And I would, and yes, Cassandra is the half sister to Dallas. You are, you are right. Which would be Don's uh, brother in law. That means that Don has slept with his brother in law's mom, Dina. Okay, it's very confusing. It's better if you look at the family tree and just look at it and understand. <laughs> this is like a very, very convoluted household because there are so many Sims. The whole town, yeah, it's gonna be related. I agree with you. It is probably gonna be related at some point um, just because Don and Cassandra are just like, they are breeders, man. They don't stop. I don't know what to do. It's Dawn's fault. Well, it's kind of Cassandra's fault because she's the one that's constantly want to have babies and whatnot. I like how, what's her name? 
Bonnie wanted to eat and now there's no food left for her. I'm so sorry, Bonnie. I'm gonna have um, them do their homework because if they don't do their homework, they're not gonna be able to go to college and they all do want to go to college. Let me have everyone go do their homework. All right, let's do a uh, show room. He likes this room. Let's show him the dining room. Look at the look at the house tour. Artie is giving us so many points. All right, show him this room. I don't even think I'm gonna have to feed this guy. I think he's just gonna like the house tour so much that <laughs> that we can get them in almost immediately. Yep, there it is. All right, they're in. Yes, yeah, want to see my game. Everyone was related to my Sims 3 Pleasant View because Dina wouldn't stop having kids. Once again, it's honest to blame. Is this tree a phone line? Would you make new townies? Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull in townies for sure. That's the only way this town is gonna remotely be able to not have everyone be related, so. Anyway, everyone's in private school now, all of our kiddos, which is great. I'm gonna make sure all of the kids are doing their homework because we need to have them do their homework. I'm gonna grab this homework assignment and just grab it put it out here so that he can get to it. Go do your homework. <clears throat> I would let them live like the Habsburgs. Oh my God, no. Okay, so Bonnie wanted to sneak out with Griffin. I'm gonna, even though she doesn't have the wish anymore, um, I will have her still do that. So I think we have to wait till like, it's like eight o'clock or something like that. And then I can have her go to the phone. This is a really cool thing that comes with The Sims 2. And I really wish they brought it back for Sims 3 Generations. They just never did. But I can have her go to the phone after a certain, it has to be a certain hour. I can't do it yet. But then she can ask uh, Griffin, who is Jen and John Burb's kid. And she's friends with him. Uh, I think she has an interest in him if he wants to sneak out with her. So that'll be cute. The headmaster's like, your food is not great, but the upholstery on the couch is A+, plus. exactly. He's very materialistic, okay? He's very materialistic. All right, Bonnie, I'm gonna have you do your homework as well. Wait, who doesn't have their homework done? That's Harlow's homework. I think this is, must be your homework, right? I can't click on it. I think this must be the, the other kids. Harris, is that what I named him? Where is your homework, Bonnie? Where did you put it? Is it up here? Here's her, her desk claim. I have no idea where she put her homework though. Did she do it all? I don't think she did it all. This might be him sitting on it right here, right? Yes, that is him sitting on her homework. All right, perfect. Look at all this homework. Oh my God, they have so many kids. They have so many kids. Oh, it's too many. You're gonna lurk and do some dishes. Thank you. Thank you for the lurk. Bonnie says homework is for suckers. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out where hers is. Oh, this is Belladonna. Sorry, this is Belladonna. This is not Bonnie. This is Belladonna. I got the wrong kid. There is just too many kids. I cannot keep up with all the kiddos. Too many. All right, go watch some TV with your uncle. This would be his uncle, right? Yes, this would be his uncle. Swing around. He wants to swing him around. I love it. He's so sweet. Oh, he doesn't want to. Okay, well, what an ass. <laughs> this kid is such an ass. <laughs> Television is already being used. All right, go join then. Damn. I gotta keep up with all these kiddos. All right, let's go and have you take a shower. I'm just con controlling whoever I can because otherwise this is gonna get very messy. Um, just too many, there's too many kids, too many. If everyone could do their homework, that'd be great right now. If they don't do their homework, then they can't get into college and they all wanna get into college, so it needs to get done. All right, Dawn wants to public woohoo. We need some more women for him to woohoo with. Um, who do we, any other options? Let's see. Let's see who he, he can woohoo with. So Emma Steele is a really beautiful townie pre-made. Townie, I guess she's just a townie. She's really beautiful. Maybe we can have Dawn hook up with her. And that'll be his ninth sim, I think, that he's woohooed with. So that'll be really good. And then, let's see. Where's the phone? have him go and ask her out on a date. He's gonna leave his entire family, his entire village back at home. Go out. Oh, Cassandra. poor Cassandra, I feel so bad for her. She just wants a little bit of peace and quiet. Listen, she worked an entire day at work and now she's gotta come home to her village of a family. She is exhausted. Miss girl is exhausted. This is such a cute photo though. 
Oh, it's so cute. I love she's in the greenhouse too. It's so cute. I love Cassandra. Poor Cassandra, man. She's really she's really going through it. She is. She's beautiful. I love her. Uh, community lots. We'll take the car to go and see Emma by ourselves. Let's not go with our children. And let's go downtown. Let's go to the Kryptonite, the vampire club I have. Seems fun. I'm gonna have Cassandra also make up some pork chops because she's hungry. This house is just so chaotic. Maddie, this town has too many Lothario kids. Also, Maddie, we need to find more girls for Donna Woohoo. Well, luckily she's a pre-made, so she won't, or she's a townie, so she won't get pregnant. Um, yeah, that's the good part about woohooing with the townies is they cannot get pregnant, thank God. Otherwise, it would be, yeah, there would be a lot more Lothario children in this town. Look at Don just going away from his family. He's turning his back. He's walking out on his wife. Your fire alarm went off. Oh no. Welcome back, Rye. Didn't miss much. We're just going out with Dawn now to a vampire club on a little date. You know, I installed the Lazy Duchess pink flashing like duct tape fix that they posted and it seems to have been working because I haven't gotten pink flashing in a really long time. I could see a Dawn and Jen baby. Jen in my game, I don't like to make her romance. I think by default, she, or if you like do like the secondary aspiration uh, calculator, she is secondary aspiration romance, but I don't like to do that. Cause I think she's like a career woman and a family woman. And I don't like to make her cheat. It makes me feel bad. All right. So we're here with Jen or Jen. I just called her Jen. Oh my God. You got in my head, D'Angelo. <laughs> Emma, she does look like Jen a little bit with that hair. Oh, okay. Um, Robert Towner just hit on me. Hi, Robert. He looks like he's from the Matrix. Okay, so Miss Emma here is in fact a family sim. She is beautiful, though. She is one of the most beautiful townies there is, like I swear. Look how gorgeous she is. And this is like, her name always gets randomly generated, so she won't be Emma in your game, but... I'm not sure if she's a downtowny or if she is a. I don't know where she's from. I have no idea. She could also be a Blue Water Village uh, townie. I don't know. I'm not sure, but she's in. She's floating around your game somewhere. Oh, they're not having a good conversation. They are not having a good conversation. She wants to dine out, so let's have us go and take a seat. Anyone else super excited to see how good Pleasant Sims is? Yes, I'm, I'm watching her uh, daily vlogs and she's like, it's super interesting to watch like what she fills her day with. I don't know. <clears throat> I like watching her vlogs nowadays. All right, let's have them go sit down. Sims 2, yes, Sims 2. But take a seat, come on. <laughs> what is happening? Take a seat. I love how like Sims, if they fail route, oh, he just stared at me. That was creepy. I like how if Sims fail routing, they'll teleport into the booths. Like she just dove her ass into the booth. <laughs> she dove in there. She just dived in the booth. I love how they do that. It doesn't like, they don't fail routing or anything like that. It's just clean. Something about her content is so comforting. I love watching her like clean and like take care of herself. I don't know. It's just. Cause that's something that I could see myself doing, like recording that and just posting like that kind of vlog. I don't know. I like, I like, I like that kind of stuff. Self care. All right. Where's our waiter or waitress? Where is our waiter or waitress? Where are you? She wants to adopt a kitten. Like I can do that. I hate when they get wishes that on the dates that like I can't do because what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to have her adopt a kitten? Like that's, that's the real question here. Can I order or am I not allowed to order? Where's my food? Excuse me, I didn't order yet. Where? Where's my wait? Where's my waiter? Okay, there we go. Order, please. Can I order? <laughs> come here, Sinjin, come here, please. Oh my God, please. This is the worst service I've ever had. She's such a cozy human, like an older sibling or your favorite cousin at the holidays. Yeah, it is. I like watching like her design her house to like decor that she chooses and stuff and her putting up like Christmas decorations and Chris, uh, Halloween as well is so comforting. Look at Dawn. He's just putting it down. Wait, why is Melba ringing the front door? Hello? <laughs> Melba, why are you here? 
All right, whatever. Let's continue. I'm gonna steal a bite from Miss Emma here. What? He just jacked my food. Um, I paid for that. Excuse me. He lets he lets her finish, but I can't. Oh, my game's frozen. My game's frozen. Hello. Oh, there we go. Those long freezes, they get me a little bit worried. I won't lie to you guys. All right, let's do a little toast. Let's blow her a kiss. There we go, perfect. Save, I can't save on a public lot, Katie. I can't, I can't save, unfortunately. All right, she just got a crush on us. Let's uh, have her finish eating. And then we can do some more interactions on her. And then we need a woohoo because that's what we came here to do. I'm sorry to break it to you, but Don needs more Sims that he needs to woohoo with, so I gotta get that done. She likes the she likes the flirts, which is good. Let's give her a back rub and just mac on her in front of this in the middle of this club. <laughs> it's okay, Katie. All right, and let's do a woohoo in the car, just because it's convenient and it's right there and it's yeah. And then I gotta add Emma to her name is Emma, right? Emma. Emma Steele. She will be added to our spreadsheet, so don't forget that I woohooed with her for one of Don's requirements. Because he wants to woohoo with 20 sims. Oh, she just got ran over. I'm so sorry, Emma. Okay, wait. Let's um ask to join. And then turn lights on. And we'll do a little... Little... Uh, wait, can I not... I forgot how you do it. Don't you have to... How do you do the woohoo? I think the car has to be parked, right? I'm not sure. I think it, I think you do have to be parked at, an, at like an actual parking lot, which is kind of sad. But I have a lot that we can drive to that they can actually park. Um, I think I have one at 250 Main Street. I think I have a parking spot. Uh, Don should buy all the town's contraceptives. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not disputing that. He needs to cut down on the population because he is the. He is the reason for the Pleasant View population crisis. He is the sole producer. I think he has something like ten kids or something. I thought it was bugged out. No, I think it's you have to be parked at like an actual parking spot. Like your sim has to pull into the parking spot. I think that's why it. I think that's why we can't woohoo. Which is kind of stupid, but I mean, I guess the car is parked on like the side of the road. The game doesn't want to, <laughs> doesn't want to let you woohoo on the side of the road. Makes sense. That sucks, I know. Yeah, I'm trying to build all my lots in to have that sort of pull-in parking spot like this. Yeah, so here I think we'll be able to get in with her and woohoo if I can. There's also a hot sub on the slot, so we could do it there maybe. All right, let's uh, sit in there. Then we'll ask Emma to come back in the car. Sorry, Emma. I totally didn't just drive you to this lot just to sit in the car and woohoo with you. Haha. <laughs> All right, let's see if- No, Emma! 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 No, stop feeling the ring, my girl. Get in. Emma's some, for some reason, scared of Coral turning into a zombie. I didn't even think Emma knew Coral, but... Interesting. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can woohoo. Uh... Oh, it actually didn't work. Okay, I think you might need to be... I think we might need to be romantically acquainted with her. I'm not sure the problem. I might just have them end up woohooing in a tub. A hot tub, not the actual tub, the hot tub. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think we might have to be like a crush, like have a crush reputation or whatever. Or not crush, but um, love? Is that what that's... Yeah, love. It's either I'm getting out of the car constantly or them getting out of the hot tub constantly for me. Yeah, I felt that acid. I felt that. I don't know why they can't woohoo in the car though. It's weird. Whatever. I don't mind. Just woohoo in the hot tub. No one's here anyway. She has a really cute, um, what's it called outfit? Her swimwear is really cute. I like it. I didn't, I didn't even put that on her. I, oh, I got a cutscene. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Oh, but here we go. She kind of looks like Lisa Ramirez to me. I don't know. Anyway, hot tub, hot tub, sexy time. <laughs> oh, there's a person in here. Do you guys see the person in the background? I'm so sorry that I witnessed that. All right, so there we go. Uh, we're gonna end the date. 
And what time does Don work? Okay, 6 p.m. So when he comes home, he can just um, sleep. I'm gonna have us end the date and we are going to drive home. What is this? He wants to woohoo with Emma in a sauna. Don, you are naughty. You are a naughty boy. <laughs> Throw away the hot tub afterwards. I Yeah, that hot tub needs to be burned. No words. Absolutely no words. All right, so I'm gonna come here to my spreadsheet. I'm going to add Emma Steele was her name. Just a random, I think she might be a downtowny. So yeah, there are, here are all of Dawn's conquests. Marissa Bendette, Cassandra, Nina, Dina, Kaylin, Melanie, Fuchs, Brandy Broke, Coral, and Emma Steele. Rest in peace, Coral. You know, she was old as shit, but she still got her TT in. So shout outs, Coral, man. Shout outs, Coral. <laughs> Christopher Steele's secret wife. <laughs> Try to get freaky underwater and get charged for murder. I used to always, when I was like a kid, I used to, we would play in the hot tub and me and my cousins and I'd like drown them under the water. Okay, they didn't, they didn't die, but I would like, you know, shove them under the water. <laughs> it sounds a little bit morbid when I put it like that, right? Everyone lived. I never killed anybody. You know, just playing around as kids do, as kids do. Without making myself sound like an absolute psychopath. What is he doing? He's, he's, whatever, what is this? Oh, he's using the synthesizer. I go to sleep. And when you told me in the comments that if I send anyone to, if I click on any bed, it'll send them to the correct bed, which ever since I learned that, it has absolutely changed my life. So whoever left that comment, thank you so much. <laughs> you were either the drowner or the drownee. I probably have been both. Listen, my brother used to like torment me when I was a kid. He like probably drowned me a couple times. I all lived though. <laughs> a contact has been exposed. Yeah, that was me. You're welcome. This is so true. Oh, it was you, Pizza? You're the one that told me. Oh, okay, thank you. Yes, that was actually really helpful. Oh, he's, she's talking to her half brother. He looks angry. Are you okay, Dallas? What's going on? I was the littlest, so I was the drowned one. Yeah, I'm the youngest of my siblings, so. Oh, it was you. Oh, it wasn't you. You're kidding. Okay. All right. Wait, didn't she just cook a pork chop and no one came to eat it? That is so sad. I am so sorry, Cassandra. You work so hard for this family and they just don't appreciate you. Listen, if you were my mother, I would appreciate you so much for making this amazing supper for everybody. Trust. Okay, trust. Let me go in. Why is this child sleeping outside? Go and sleep on your own bed. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Go sleep. Cassandra is so tired. I feel so bad for her. Oh, everyone just gained a day. So Cassandra is now got nine days till she ages up to an elder. And Dawn has five. So they are getting pretty old here, guys. It's looking like babies may not be an option anymore. Dallas is, oh, I literally jinxed it because she just got, she just got the, her nauseousness. Oh my God, she's pregnant again. They're gonna have even more kids and she has a family token. Oh, there's even more. Good thing is, is that she may be having more babies, but at least we're gonna be moving some of the, some of the stock in our household that's currently <laughs> our kids. She's pregnant. 75% chance. Yeah, it was pretty high. It was a pretty high chance of her getting pregnant, so. I, it, we rolled a zero though, so I thought that didn't work, but I guess it did. I guess it did work. All right, I'm gonna have the, this child, I don't know, her, Harlow's her name, I think. I'm gonna have her clean up a little bit. I hope she's not dirty like her dad, Slobby. Oh, she is Slobby, that's great. She's gonna throw a fit when I ever clean up. Is this a hundred baby challenge? Listen, Cassandra wanted me to keep having her try for baby. Thank you, Yaro, for the sub with Prime. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I don't know how you manage so many. Um, the good thing is like my autonomy is relatively good. So like most of them take care of themselves, honestly. It's a little bit harder with the teenagers because they won't like do their homework or whatever. And that really bothers me. Cause like they need, if they want to go to college and they have to do their homework, it's just a necessity. So I also play in like Sims, Sims 2, Speed 2 all the time. And that is really helpful because then it's not like going too fast and I can control everybody. 
I need this game. Where do I download? Well, I actually have made an entire, uh, an entire series, a three part series. I need to put it on like a hot, a hot link. What is it called? A command. That's the word, a command with Nightbot so that she can just link where you guys can get the Sims too, because otherwise people keep asking. I do have, hold on, let me see if I can grab it for you. Um, here is a link, a resource where you can get the game, Yaro. The size of this family, I know it's quite a, it's a big family. There you go. There you go. I need to make that command pizza. I'm gonna add that right now, actually. Let's do it right now together. All right, commands, custom. We'll do, I think, I thought I had it on a command, but I guess I didn't previous. Oh, it's Sims to help. That's what the command is. Sims, exclamation point, Sims to help. But I guess I can also add one, exclamation point, Sims to. So I'll just do that. Uh, where do I get the Sims to? Question mark that there okay let's try the commands excellent there we go there we go there's the command that works you started a command yes you did where is harlow's okay go do your homework this kid he needs to do his homework too i forget their names oh his homework is actually already in his room well isn't that nice he did all the work for me <clears throat> I just found a auto homework mod on the mod the sims that triggers every 7 p.m to make all sims do their homework it's called the auto do homework mod i saw um pleasant sims use that yeah i did see pleasant sims use that that would be very helpful in these really big households like this i i do agree i should probably get it where's your oh there's his homework all right go do your homework when you're up for the day i wish i had been a little bit more thoughtful to give every sim a desk in this household at least somewhere like it doesn't have to all be in like one room but it's really hard for me to keep track of where everyone's homework is because they just throw it on the floor i think he did all his homework though who is this this is brooks brooks lothario oh he can't like he can't get downstairs like what is the problem now he's going okay perfect i just also realized we have a rooftop with a um what's it called a telescope on it there's other commands. Yeah, there's a lot of commands. I have a lot of commands. YouTube. I think I have one for Twitter as well. <clears throat> I wish they put the homework in their inventories. I really wish it stayed in the- Why does he have a chair? What? He bought- He bought stuff from Chico's fine furniture store. That's interesting. I guess this like 15 year old boy decided to take a day trip to a furniture store. Um, interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> You do have a YouTube command? Yeah, I do. I save my game. There's a lot of there's a lot of different commands. <clears throat> that that Sims 2 commands has been something that I've needed to add for a very long time. I usually monitor them when they exit the list. Yes, acid. I, I do too, usually, but when there's so many Sims like this, like when there's like eight kids, I just can't. I cannot possibly keep track of where everyone is putting it. That's why I have this auto. If you look up here, if I look at, let's say this desk up here, this has Belladonna's face in it. I had her claim this desk, which means she should deposit her homework on said desk. Uh, I don't know why she didn't. Maybe she got interrupted or whatever, but this kid did, Harris did. He put his in the proper place. So I don't know what's going on. The school bus is gonna be coming in an hour. Um, I think Cassie's carpool is here. Is that Dawn's? No, it's Cassie's. All right, Cassie, go to work. She's very, she's in a great mood, actually. I'm gonna have to start keeping a closer eye on her because she is pregnant. She just doesn't know it yet. So, gotta make sure that she's in a good mood. And then I think Brooks did all his homework, which is good. So I don't need to have him do anything there. I'm just looking around to see if I can find it because maybe I missed it, I don't know. She's in a horrible mood. I'm sorry. Go join your go join your brother and watching some TV. They're all in like really bad moods. I'm sorry. Actually, they're not, you know, comparatively, they're not in that bad of a mood. Yeah, I definitely need to keep track of where they're putting their homework though. I have that sometimes I have routing errors, which prevents them from doing so. Yes. She's like freaking out. Just do your 
<laughs> Go watch some TV to get your fun up. God, guys, come on. Just take a seat. Homework dump, I know. I hate how they just leave it. You know, when I have the old golf place, the golf house, they were all putting it like back here in the corner and it was like really annoying. Alrighty, it's school time. I'm gonna have Dawn go upstairs. He's in a great mood because he had that super date or whatever it's called, like a dream date. <gasps> Cassie! Cassie, you have to go to work. I know you don't want to. You're late though. Now she's gotta go take the car to work. All right, let's make sure Harris is going. This other kid, all these kids. Oop, I just canceled it for him. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Come on guys, get on the bus. They're gonna take forever to get on the bus because there's just so many kids. I do like that they run to the bus sometimes if they're if it's getting close. Oh my god, like he is not at all here. Go, go, go. No, what are you doing? He's stuck. He's stuck. He can't get on the bus. Go. I gotta teleport him now. Go, run, 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 run. Go, go, go. Why is Cassandra not going to work? She does not want to go to work today. She's very anti-work. Oh! <gasps> she got her bump! There we go, Hey! All right, well, she got her first bump, so she luckily did not have to go to work today. How lucky is she? Um, she does want to go and do some romantic things with Dawn, so I guess I should have her go and tell him, hey, I'm pregnant again, <laughs> for like the third time in a row. You know, she, she did that on purpose. She was avoiding work. She's like, Maddie, stop trying to send me to work. All right, listen, I'm pregnant. I need to get my bump today. Not Dawn using the synthesizer. Like, what are you doing, my guy? I'm trying to I'm trying to have you interact with your wife that loves you very much, and you're just neglecting her. Let's have them do some romantic stuff. Um, uh, flirt, wolf whistle. Oh, she wants to have a baby! I can definitely lock that in now. I'm also going to have her tell her she's pregnant. Just go and have him chat with her. Have her chat with her. Have him chat have her chat with him, rather. Are we on? We are on letter A. We are on A because, oh, I forgot to mention this. I don't know why I forgot to mention this, Um, but Alexander and Melody had twins. So we have Zaheer and Zane now in town. They were twin boys. So yeah, Melody and Alex had twin boys. So we are on letter A now, which is funny because we were on letter B before. So now we're on letter A. So that's the letter. <laughs> Poor Cassie, the flirting with a good for nothing man, I know. Zayn Malik, yeah, Zayn Malik is is now a is now an Alexander and Melody child. Alright, I'm gonna send Cassie downstairs, have her go and grab some lunch, make some hamburgers for everybody. Don has work today, I think. Uh yes he does. In a couple of hours. He's he loves the synthesizer. I don't know why, but he is just obsessed with it. So I'm gonna let him do that. I love how Cassie lost her want to have, uh, to her fear rather, to not have a, or have a baby. So she's, I guess she's confident now that she wants to have a child, which is good. She made up her mind. She definitely made up her mind. That's a weird jump, but hey! It's their child, all right, it's Zane. Where's our maid at? This house is like, so dirty. Oh, I guess the maid is here. Where's he at? He's making beds. Yeah, he's got a lot of beds to make in this house. I will say he's gonna he's gonna be around there for a while making beds and whatnot. So gotta give him some time, I guess. Brooks is doing extremely well. All right, let's take a look. Let's see where they all deposit their homework. So Belladonna is supposed to put hers upstairs on her desk upstairs. Let's see if she does it. I think she is. Yeah, she's gonna go put it there and then let's see. Oh my God, they're all, they, they all storm in the household after school. Um, all right, who are you? Bonnie, this is Bonnie. She put hers in the study, that's fine. And where's the other kid? This one, Brooks, where are you gonna put yours? I think Brooks has a desk. No, I don't think he does. <gasps> Bex wants to bring home Finn. Yes, we can. Finn is Daniel and Kaylin's kid. Maddie, who do you main in League? I main, I play a lot of characters. I play Caitlyn and Jin, and I also play Jinx. I play a lot of characters in League. I am, um, yeah. All right, let's, okay, he has a desk, which is good. Put his up there. Okay, I'm glad they're all using their desks. This is great. Okay, why are you in the bathroom when your sister is showering? That is 
I'm gonna vomit. I'm going to absolutely vomit. Let's not do that. Okay, let's have Bonnie answer the phone because there's no one else to answer the damn phone. I get. Oh, never mind. Uh, hey, it's Dawn. No, Dawn is not available to talk. Baby names. Alessandra. Oh, I really like Alessandra. That's cute. Eamon. Avender. I like Alessandra. But I doubt they'll have one child because it is it is Cassandra after all. And she is known for her multiples. She is definitely known for her multiples. Okay, so uh, let's have him go and do his homework. Might as well have him go do it. He's in a good mood at least. I'm trying to keep an eye on Cassie too because if she miscarries, I... I'm going to end. I'm gonna end it all. <laughs> or for Utah moms, Ainsley, Ainsley, Ainsley. Yeah. Okay, Dawn is here. He. Oh, he's talking to what's his face? Uh, Finn. She's like in such a bad mood. I'm sorry. Harlow wants to bring home Carlo. Harlo and Carlo. That's a cute combo. I didn't even realize that. I did that. Harlo and Carlo. Oh my God. They must be the next couple in Pleasant View. Harlow and Carlo. I can't believe I did that. So Carlo is Lisa and Chico's son. So they're not related, thank God. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that blunder again where I said that Dallas and Belladonna could be a couple. No, 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 let's not do that. Harlow and Carlo, I like that. Oh, Belladonna's hobby is sports. It's cute. She's a sporty gal. Is she watching sports? Yeah, she's watching sports with her brother, Bex. All right, let's send Bex to do his homework as well. Just make sure everyone does their homework. I need to get that mod that you were talking about, Acid, where it sends them all to do their homework because I keep having to do it like individually. Is there no downstairs bathroom? There is no downstairs bathroom. That seems like a big missed opportunity. I probably could bump out this wall over here and make like a bathroom or something. Um, Dawn's carpool is coming in an hour. He's up here chatting with Finn in his daughter's room. Let's not... I don't know why you're up there. Let's get you out of that room. How's Belladonna doing? Did she do her homework? I don't remember. She took her homework, so she must have done it, right? Because it's gone. For once, please don't touch the house. It needs another bathroom! Stop being a hater. It needs another bathroom. Somewhere. There's not enough. There's too many sims for so few bath. I think there's only like three bathrooms in this house. There's not enough. I actually really do love this house though. Cortana really did a great job. It's pretty as it is. It is pretty as it is. I don't dispute that, but the functionality could be a little bit better. Functionality could be a little bit better. I I I gotta say. Listen, I'm not dissing. I'm not dissing Fratana. They did an amazing job. All right, don't don't misconstrue my words. But um, the house is just needs some more bathrooms in it. That's all. Okay, let's have him go watch some TV. All right, so making sure everyone does their homework. Uh, Bonnie, did you do your homework? I don't think you did. You did not. Wait, go use the bathroom. What are you doing? Go use the bathroom. Go. Okay, I might have Harlo and Carlo hang out a little bit because I really want them to grow up and be like a couple. That would be... Okay, there is just... Finn is getting stuck. <laughs> Finn is getting stuck. He is getting stuck and he is bothering me. So it might be time to say bye-bye to you. Oh, Bonnie's walking away from the toilet like she didn't just clog the damn thing. Let's go and I want to see if Finn... What is his sexuality? He's bi. I forget. I didn't even check the Lothario siblings. Um, Brooks is straight low. Bonnie is gay. Bex is gay, Belladonna is straight, and the kids, obviously, they're children. So I didn't take any of that in. Hold on. <laughs> Bonnie is gay and Bex is gay. Okay. What is Finn? Finn is bi. Okay, so wait, who is... <laughs> I can't keep it straight. There's so many kids. Um, Bex. Okay, Bex. Bex, Bex. I think Bex invited over Finn, no? So let's have them go talk. Let's have them go chat with each other. They could watch some TV together. Going out with, with Finn. Maybe we have, uh, wait, he has a bolt with him. Oh, he has one bolt. Okay, perfect. Well, this is great. Why don't we, 
get a little romance going here. Come on, we need to have some romance in this place. He actually wants to ask somebody out on a date. So let's go, let's have him ask, um, let's have him ask Finn out on a date. Let's do that. Yes. I think he kissed, didn't he kiss one of the, I'm pretty sure this, this Sim Bex, he kissed one of Brandy Broke's kids. I'm pretty sure it was Asher. I could be wrong about that, but I don't know. Bonnie gives me Maddie from Euphoria vibes. <laughs> All right, come on, stop talking to him. Let's go on a date. I wish you. I wish I knew you were going live. I didn't go live early. Is it the same time as normal? All right, so let's see what they want to do. So he wants to tell a joke to Finn, which is fine. We can do that. He wants to play with Finn. Um, they're gonna be going to uni together too, which is good. Dawn, aren't you supposed to be at work? Hello. Why are my sims like not going to work? I'm so confused. Are they getting interrupted or like, what's the problem? I'm confusion. Why we are not going to work anymore. Did he go? Okay, he went, good. He's like late, he's late for work. Oops, I meant to turn. Private school fees are off. I have them off for everybody. All right, cooking. Let's have her go study some cooking because she wants to study cooking. All right, back to Bex's dates. Let's have him go in, just talk to his date, gossip, share interests. We can have them go out on like a lot together because he does want to go out to dine. Maybe because he's pregnant? <laughs> I thought it was 8 on Saturday. No, it's 7. It's always 7 p.m. EST. Sims logic. Hi, I think you're cute. Oh, so you're saying we're on a date now. All right, let's have him go out. Uh, walked a lot. He wants to get into private school. Listen, I don't think your family has enough money, Finn. Yeah, this is Kaylin and Daniel's son, and Kaylin is raising him and very much so is poor, so I don't think they're ever gonna be able to get into private school. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say, but you're just, you're just not, you're just not uh, in that, in that socioeconomic position. I'm sorry, Finn. I'm sorry to bring it to you. There's something I can do. All right, let's go out. Let's have them go out to go get a little bite to eat at the diner. Seems very like teenager-ish to go to the diner. Yeah, I stream 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. That is my um, that is my time that I stream. Some private schools IRL have scholarships, while the one in Pleasant View does not. Unfortunately, why is it not sending me? That was weird. It like took a second to send me to the diner. Thank you for the hydration check. Everyone get a glass of water. Let's take a sip together. Stop being poor, Finn. Why does that sound like someone out here on like a TV show? Pleasant View capitalism for real. Have you seen the headmaster? He does not look like a nice guy, okay? All right, so we're here. We're gonna get a bite to eat with Finn. Let's have us go be seated. This seems like a really cute, just like, look, he likes him. I wonder how many bolts of chemistry he has with him. Okay, yes, we're running out of time. We need to hurry up here. Actually, screw the, screw the food, screw the food, screw the food. Um, Actually, no, cause he has a want to, oh my gosh. He has a want to go and get some food, so. I don't know if we're gonna have time. I hope we have enough time to have him fulfill this wish because it's gonna hinge on him. Oh God, there we go. All right, come on. Yes, we have another three minutes. Thank God, I was scared we were running out of time. All right, let's go order some food. Wait, this is Sinjin. Okay, Sinjin must be busting his ass because he works not only at Kryptonite Club in downtown, but also here in Pleasant View. Damn, this guy was working two waiter jobs. Good for you, Sinjin. Oh, that's Pleasant View capitalism at its best, I guess. This, this poor waiter, he's got to work two waiter jobs. <laughs> I was always working while you streamed, so I missed most of it. Um, so I must have got the time confused. Recently quit my job that I dreaded going in, that I'm going to now I'm free. Oh, well, I'm happy that you quit the job that you're, I mean, you know, I don't know your situation, but if it was weighing on your mental, then that's good that you quit. I wish you the best of luck in your job search. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, play. Let's see, little boy. I love this interaction. I don't know why. Oh, he just 
jacked his food. I don't know why the waiters do that. Like, my sims won't even be finished eating, and then they just take their food. Right, let's have these two go and interact some more. Let's have- <laughs> go get a back rub. Or go get a back rub in the middle of the diner, you know? And what else can we do here? Flirt with Finn. Oh, he wants to make out with him. You guys see this? Oh, they're about to, they're about to heat it up here. I'm gonna have him flirt. And charm. Can we get a close up on Bex? Yes. Here's Bex. Here's what he looks like. He looks, I don't know why, but he gives me Dina for some reason. Like his eyes? He's got Dina's eyes. So I don't know what's up there, but. And here's Finn. This is, oh my God, he has such a, look at this nose. <laughs> um, This is Daniel Pleasant's nose, by the way. But yeah, this is Daniel and Kaylin's son. He's got a schnauzer. The ginger, this is Finn. This is Finn. He is Kaylin and Daniel's. Yeah, here he is. Yeah, he's not, I mean, he's fine. He's nothing to write home about but it's it's cool um all right let's have them hug we will have them kiss they're gonna be going to uni together which is fun that's very fun and then i think they're gonna have a dream date pretty soon he's kind of ug he is kind of oh they just autonomously woohooed they just autonomously woohooed all by themselves Okay, um, I guess have your fun, guys. Uh, this, if you don't know, in almost every single stream, my sims are always woohooing in this photo booth. I am, I don't even want to look inside there. I am scared to see what is inside that photo booth. Let's see if she actually fixes the sim. What do you guys want changed about him? Do you want a makeover? I mean, there's not, there's no fixing him, I don't think. I think he's just going to be ugh. There's no fixing. I really like long hair on him. Hi, small peach. Makeover. Okay, let's see what I can do. Guess he up. Change appearance. Let's see. Let's see here. Damn, they're just getting it. They're just getting it. This this diner has seen a lot of action. I feel kind of guilty. <laughs> I'm I'm the number one reason. It's driving away the clientele. <laughs> Mostly his hair for me. I want to give him a long hair. I really like him with long hair. Um, this one I gave to a sim last stream, so I don't want to give him that one. Let's see what I can do. Maybe something like this? Did you this restaurant from somewhere or did you build it yourself? I'm pretty sure this comes in Pleasant View, no? I'm pretty sure it comes with Pleasant View. 2009 Beaver. I don't know why, I don't know why I said 2019. He's low-key cute. I think with the new hair he looks fine. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I like this one. This one looks good on him. No, he's not, he's not, he's not the best looking. But I think I can work with him. You guys like the other hair? Yes, you like this one? I guess we'll give him that one. Should we give him some facial hair? <laughs> like his dad, Daniel? Give him a little goatee. No, I think he looks, his face is like so thin. His kiss, Kaylin's really super duper long face. Give him some stubble or something. Stubble? Yes, you guys like stubble? All right, we'll give him some stubble. Just some really light stubble. There we go. All right, there's your makeover, Katie. I hope your makeover wasn't disappointing. Anyway, I'm gonna have these two end their date. Actually, let's have them go steady. Why not? You know, this is a cute. All right, I'm gonna write down on my spreadsheet, by the way. Oh, oh my gosh. I need a photo of them in this in this diner. <laughs> Let's have them. Oh, this is so cute. I love that. I love the animations. Just like Tim Stew seriously has the most top tier animations. Romance in the Lothario household. She actually fixed the Sam. Yeah, you're welcome, you guys. You're welcome. You know, no big deal. Just do it. You know, do it a day's work. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna end the date and because it is 1 a.m. and I'm sure Bex's parents don't even notice he's gone. Let's be real here. There's so many sims in the house. I doubt he notices. But did I take a taxi here? I think I had oh walked a lot. Let's go home. Oh! They just fell in love with each other, I think. 
That's cute. Oh my god, no, Bex wants to make out with three different sims. Oops. Uh-oh. Well, I forgot he's a romance sim. Yikes. Okay, let me put down on Bex's spreadsheet that he is, his partner is Finn, and then I need to go to Finn's <laughs> and write down Bex, just so I don't forget. There we go. Yeah. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna go to Harlow. Why don't we, I'm gonna type a question mark for Harlow, Carlo, cause that could be a potential pairing. I love that. Harlow and Carlo. There is uh, there is three Ramirez brothers. So I feel like there's a well of Ramirez brothers that, cause the Ramirez family makes beautiful children. They do. He fell in love after his makeover. All he did was put his man bun down. That's all. That's all he did. All right, now I gotta make up that time and play these couple remaining hours. Is this Harlow's homework? All right, Harlow needs to. Oh my god, this girl is exhausted. Absolutely just exhausted. Look at her. Her twin is like playing toys. It's super loud. Go to sleep. I need to have Cassie make some food for all for her plentiful well of children. She wants to reach level nine in cooking. Um, Belladonna's out here playing some catch with Carlo. I'm pretty sure Carlo has like a super weak chin because of Chico. Yeah, he does. He's the one with the weak chin. He kind of looks like an old man. <laughs> he does kind of look like an old man. I can't lie. I do not tell lies. What's Bonnie doing? Tell her- no, 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 no. Why don't you go upstairs and go take a shower? So now we need to find partners for the rest of the Sims. There's a lot of Sims in this household and I gotta do a lot of thinking here. I don't think we have any gay or bisexual female Sims yet. I haven't- I don't- can't- nothing comes to the top of my mind. Let me- let me see here. Um, Isabel, when she ages up to a teen, could potentially- no, that would be her- ugh, never mind, that would- sorry, that could- that would be her- niece yeah that's okay just forget i said anything uh we also have emery could potentially she's a child that's mary sue um and daniel's daughter i mean we have some options there's just like no other teenage female sims i'm pretty sure yeah so there's a kind of a we, there's kind of a missing uh a missing gap there so Bonnie might have to wait a little bit to get a to get paired up. Looks like the baby cringe. <laughs> Low man buns are ill. Man man high top man buns with faded sides are amaze balls. Says Katie. He's scary as fuck. <laughs> Those laugh lines on a ten year old. <laughs> Listen, it's just the lighting. Poor look at she's like stuck. Her brother is blocking her in over there. Let me teleport you, Bonnie. Um, have to go take a shower. Go to sleep and think everyone will be on their way to go to bed because it is like late at night. Oh my God, this child is about to starve to death. Let me have him go and get some food. I hope everyone did their homework. I'm trying, I'm, I need that mod. I need that mod. I keep talking about it, but I really do. I just keep forgetting to check up here. I think I had him do it, right? This is Brooks. Yes, I'm getting like used to who is who. Yeah, it's Brooks's desk. She can meet those lesbians at uni, the last ones from stream. I'm trying to think who you're talking about, Katie. I don't know if anyone will know what I mean, but does anyone know why some Sims have creases on their noses sort of between their eyes? Creases on their noses. Let me let me take a look. Creases on their noses. Are you talking about like right I'm, I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about are you talking about like right in this corner with like this inner corner <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure out i'm trying to make sense of what you're saying it might also to answer your question it's probably just like a genetic thing like i'm sure it's just passed down honestly all right i'm gonna send him upstairs go use the bathroom go to bed Bonnie's fast asleep. Nose bridge? It might be a nose bridge thing. It's just genetics at the end of the day. Let's have Cassie go and get some dinner. Um, let's have her make up a cup of ramen. Why not? 
Um, she's pregnant. She doesn't want to be arsed. Bonnie has the opportunity to move. Why is Bonnie older than everyone else? Hold on a second. Wait a sec. Why is Bonnie not aging? Uh, she should... Hold on. <laughs> She's a quadruplet, so she should be the same age as the rest of her siblings. I am so confused. She might have... Hold on, let me see. They have four days till they become adults. I'm so... I'm, I'm perplexed. Hmm. That's really bizarre. That's bizarre. Do you use one more slot, please? No, I don't. Not in some stew, but I do in some three. All right, where's this tree? Let me see. Aging. Three days older, we'll go Bonnie. I think that will fix it. Oh, shit. Now she's a day older than everyone else. Shit. Um, Three days younger. How am I going to do this? I'm trying to think I'm going to do this. Was it T? The girls are pregnant. No, she's not pregnant. <laughs> Bonnie is, uh, Bonnie is lesbian. <laughs> Hi, Diego. Right, three days younger. I'm trying to see. So she's, mm. I might have to go in some PE quickly and fix that because otherwise it's going to bother sh shit on me. I'm going to say quickly, we're going to get that mod that acid linked in Discord just to make sure all my sins are like doing their homework and whatnot. And... Then we will go ahead. All right, so here is the auto homework mods. We'll get that. And then I will quickly pop this into some PE and make sure that we get that um that other the 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 aging correctly. <laughs> A date with my right hand. Okay, Diego. Okay. A little bit, a little bit too much, a little bit TMI, but wouldn't expect anything different from you, honestly. <laughs> Put this mod in my mods folder here. There we go. And then I'll bring us into Sim PE so we can change Bonnie's age. So she needs to be a day. She needs to be a day younger in order to catch her up. Wait, does that mean yes, Rybean? I think, I think me and you were thinking the same thing. All right, so I'm in some PE. Let's see here. Let's uh, let's let's change what's her face's age. Bonnie, right? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go to tools, some surgery. We'll go to what's her face, Bonnie so many oh my god look at all these sims <laughs> there's so many bonnie 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 there she is bonnie lothario are your nip are your I, I said nips i was gonna say nips lips naturally that color <laughs> uh no it's pillow talk by charlotte tilbury that's the lip color i have on all right so she needs to have three days remaining in order to catch her up with everyone else yes i want to commit just see. There we go. All right. She should be good. And then we'll get back in since two. Open. Okay. Yeah, I have a, I have a, I have a lip, I have a lip, I have a lip color on. It's like perfectly matches my lip color though. <laughs> my baby whenever he's hungry. Nip reveal? <laughs> I keep seeing these videos on TikTok and listen, I'm not on like mom TikTok, so I don't know why I keep getting them on my on my page, but it's like there'll be like these five year old kids that are still being breastfed. Um, and like, ma'am, that's a that's a fully grown child right there. That's like a that's a fully grown human. It reminds me of that scene in Game of Thrones where it, I think it's uh Catherine Stark's sister. And she's like breastfeeding on her throne, this like 10 year old child. <laughs> so your son ate literally though. Yeah, I got like the Charlotte Tilbury, the, the lip pen or the lip liner and the lipstick in like a Sephora like gift set or something. <clears throat> Game of Thrones was wild. I agree with you. 
Listen, I'm not in love with Game of Thrones like other people are. It's it's kind of I feel I feel bad because everyone was hyping up Game of Thrones so much and then I'm not even like obsessed with it like everyone is telling me. I heard you can find your perfect. I have heard that too, Violet. I have heard that too. Tick Tims guidelines at. <laughs> like, where are Tick Tims guidelines at? It's because you're not into the fantasy genre. I have a problem, like, not a problem, but I don't necessarily like historical stuff. Like, I'm very, I'm not interested in, like, medieval stuff. I think that's my problem. And Game of Thrones is, that's, you know, the essence of the show. I like how Bonnie is just bald. She's just completely balding. I'm reading the books right now. I am reading the first book and I got little bit lost in the sauce i have no motivation to read the first book i don't know why her wig was snatched ah <sighs> yeah i was a weird kid in middle school who was too knowledgeable at game of thrones before the show came out yeah i read the first book and i i don't know i got to the part where sam tarley came into the picture and that was like a cute little storyline between sam and um john that was really cute but other than that, I don't know. I'm not too, I'm not too into it. I just don't like historical sort of stuff. Did you watch House of the Dragons? I did not. I didn't even finish the original series. I'm like, once again, I'm, I can never finish TV shows. I don't know what it is about me, but I never finish them. Okay, there, she's finally, oh, we are, oh my God. I can see through the grounds. I can see through the grounds. There's actually a fix to this. There's a fix to this. Hold on. I forget. There's like a cheat code you have to type in. It's the cheat code is bullprop reparse shaders true. I don't know why, but it fixes it. Godspeed. I can like, okay, I have to do it again, I think. Maybe I have to reload a lot. We'll see. We will see. I just type in like a thousand times. Let's see what happens. Re reparse shaders. Hello, please reparse my shaders. Damn it, it's not working. I don't think I can sit there and watch all those seasons. There's a lot. Game of Thrones is long, I agree. It's like Pretty Little Liars. I skipped to the last episode instead of watching it. Gossip Girl is, I think, one of the only shows I've ever finished um, because it's like a New York City show and I'm a New York City kid. So it's like, I, I still call myself a kid. I still think I'm like a teenager. In my mind, I'm still a teenager. Is anyone else like that? I'm like 21 years old, but <laughs> in my head, I'm still a teenager. All right, let's see if reloading the lot worked. Please. No! Crash counter, one. A crash counter so far is one. I can't believe we only crashed once. Listen, I went from like crashing three times a stream to only crashing once. So I'm pretty proud of that. I'm pretty proud of that. I'm happy it only crashed once. I, normally we're at like three or four crashes at this point of the stream. So you know what? I will take one crash. I will take one crash right now. Me with a baby strapped to my chest still thinking of a teen. <laughs> it's like my brain is like stuck and thinks I'm still like a teenager. I don't know why. I turned 21 in six days and I still feel like a teenager too. Yeah, I felt that. I don't know why, but I'm I'm like still thinking I'm young. It's weird. I'm like almost done with college. It's like, when is my brain gonna catch up? When am I gonna start feeling like an adult? I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> Oof is right, man. Oof is right. <clears throat> Can this reload quicker? I don't wanna overwax the banisters. You feel old? See, I have like the opposite problem. I don't feel old. I feel young. I feel fresh. I feel I feel like more mentally stable than I was when I was in high school. My mental was so bad in high school. I was like, I think it's because partially it's like the same. High school is like the same thing day in and day out. I could not, if you offer me like $100 to redo high school. No, not $100. Okay, that's a little bit too low. But like $100,000, like a million dollars, I wouldn't redo it. Nah. I might put myself through that again. It was like high school was, oh God. High school was like not it for me. My students make me feel old every single day. It's so weird to think about like, I have a teacher in my chat that has students 
Like, I can't even imagine if I found out one of my teachers in high school was like a simmer. Oh my God, I'd freak out. Her a teacher, I know, right? Like this person, this person teaches, teaches the youth. They teach the youth. Sammy teaches the youth to better educate our future. I'm almost 25, but I feel like a teenager. Oh my God, yes. And then when you talk to like an actual teenager, it's like, oh my God. I'm so glad I'm not a teenager. <laughs> it's like, you know what the worst thing that the, the worst new trend about teenagers is like, oh, this is in Ohio. Oh, this, is this Ohio? Like the TikTok trends, like shut up. It's so annoying. It's just not funny either. And I'm not even from Ohio, I'm from New York, but shut up about the Ohio shit. I just shut up. Kids. <laughs> we are like our parents that are like complaining about our that we're complaining about you know millennials like our parents complain about millennials and then millennials complain about gen z and now gen z is complaining about gen alpha it's so funny all right back in the household back on the old grind i hope cassie has her baby in the stream i think we'll have time i stopped tiktok so long ago i need to get off of it because it's just it's just a time sink, and it's not as fun as it used to be. Man, I teach engineering to kids through Legos. I'm barely here. No, you teach. You still teach. Listen, just because you teach Lego doesn't mean you're not teaching. Don't, 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 uh, what's it called? What? Carlo, do you have no... What? He just jumped on my bed. Oh my god, my mom would freak out. My mom would have freaked out if one of my friends came over to my house and started jumping on her bed. She would have freaked out. Stem purr. You're a scientist, Sammy, yes. Why is- I don't know why Lisa Ramirez's child is still at my house. Also, I just saw- Oh my gosh, look who just came by. Emma. Emma came by. She's dropping off a gift. What are you gonna give me, Emma? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? She's tiptoeing. Tiptoeing in my Jordans. What's she gonna give me? What could it be? Look, she's still tiptoeing in her high heel. I love that. Emma, come on. She's- Oh my god, why are you ringing my door? Why are you ringing my door, Emma? Is she gonna drop off the gift or what? She needs to leave! Emma, you gotta go, girl! You're my mistress. <clears throat> come on. Ask her to leave. She needs to go. It's like, get out! Get out! What are you doing here? I have a wife and a family! Why would you show up at my house? Alright, let's send Cassie off to bed. She's sleepy. Why are- Okay, Bonnie's up. Bonnie needs to- What is this? Get a pri- Girl, you're in private school! Wait! Why does it say she's in public school? Huh? Like, I'm so confused. It says that they're all- That's so weird. That's so weird. Is there a way I could cheat pri private school? Because they were all supposed to be- Do I have to do the stupid private school thing again? That's so strange. It completely took them out of private school. Well, that's stupid. Uh, that's a weird glitch. I don't know if I messed something up or whatever. I'm gonna- I'm gonna invite the headmaster over again, I guess. Weird. Alright, so I guess we have to redo that scenario, which is fine. It's just quick. It's pretty easy to do, so... <clears throat> My biology teacher in high school didn't have a biology degree, so I used to have leverage to drop her glass. Not her tiptoeing right to the doorbell, I know. I'm as subtle as a brick. You can hear her high heels clacking from a mile away. There's a modded object called the school chooser. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. That's actually really helpful. All right, who's homework? Where did I think most of these kids did their homework, so. The only one that didn't is Harlow and she's like upstairs. I don't know what she's doing. She's like, she's never in a good mood. So I never have time to have her do her homework. Oh my God, she's stuck. So this room, something needs to change with this room because these Sims cannot get around each other when they're up there. And it's very annoying. Sims are gaining skills, which is good. Um, she's writing in her diary. How cute. She's thinking about a teddy bear. I love when Sims write in their diary. It's like an outlet. 
Oh, he didn't sleep yet. Right, he just came back from a date, right? Yeah. It's the weekend though, so it's okay. I think these kids are... By the time Monday rolls around, they're not- there's gonna be no reason for them to go to private school because they're already gonna be like one day off from aging up to an adult anyway. Near an adult. It sounds like the intro of Katy Perry Hot and Cold. You're hot and you're cold. You make your mind. Okay, that's my Katy Perry impression. I grew up listening to Katy Perry. I was obsessed with Katy Perry when I was a child because that's like- that's my generation, man. That's my generation. <clears throat> All right. I've come to the realization that any child 16 and younger have no shame and will start dancing like they're in a TikTok in public at any given time. Can't tell if that's the world healing or if kids need to bully again because I was bullied to that. <laughs> what? I think Simlish Hot and Cold is in The Sims 2. No, it's in The Sims 3. In the Sims 3 comes out late night, I think. I tell me The Sims 3. Sounded so good, it got copyrighted. Don't say that. All right, don't scare me like that. Sisters are talking to each other. How about we get some breakfast going? Bonnie could serve up some breakfast, maybe. Everybody. She wants to. She's booking it. She's running downstairs. Oh my god, her sister's like, what are you doing to me? Stop running around me. Um, Cook a toaster pastry for everybody. She's gonna burn it. I know she's gonna burn it. Sims 2, wait, it isn't- Oh, I'm thinking about last Friday night. That's what I'm thinking about. That is what I'm thinking about. Last Friday night is in Sims 3. And I don't know about the one in Sims 2, but I don't play with music on. Hot and cold. That's so cool. I love that. Sims 3, yeah, Sims 3 is last Friday night. I know. I think it's cool that Katy Perry did like- I feel like I can't see that happening nowadays. Like these big pop stars doing music for Sims, but- yeah, Last Friday Night in Sims 3 is so good. Like, that song itself, oh, it's so good. You change your mind like a girl. It has to be super breathy, because that song is super breathy. <laughs> uh, my favorite Sims 2 song is Lily Allen, Smile. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I don't want to listen to it, because it. I think it is copyrighted, but... Listen, before stream next time, next time I stream, um, we can listen to it. Sing cursive and it's a new cover. This is true. Look at her cleaning the house. Thank you, Belladonna. I don't know what we're going to do with the teenagers today. Maybe send them off to like the teen only lot. We do have the headmaster coming at five, which having them out of the house would be nice because they are little demons. These children are demons, I tell you. Oh my gosh, this child is starving and he- there's like a toaster pastry right here. Go eat a toaster pastry, my guy. What are we waiting on? Kiss me more and Simlish would kill me. Sims conversion songs? Yeah, the Simlish songs are really good. They are really good. Oh, she's telling her daughter. She's like, I'm pregnant again. And her daughter's probably like, again, mom? Seriously? You and dad are still doing it? They are pretty old, like, they are pretty old to still be. They're probably in their 50s or 60s, honestly. I mean, not Cassandra. Cassandra's maybe 40-something. But Dawn, I guess he is a Lothario. And a romance sim. At the end of the day. So that's that's definitely why. Oh, look at Bonnie. Hey, okay, girl. She's like, I like what I see, even in my sweatpants. <laughs> All right, Bex, what are you doing? Go and take a shower. There's nothing, there's not much to do right now with these. Just gotta play through the season, honestly. Um, but we will be sending them all off to uni rather soon. So that'll be nice to get them all out of my hair. At least the ones that can go to uni. The late night ones? Yes, the late night songs for Sims 3 are some of the best, I think, Simlish covers that EA has like done. Oh, he's tuning the piano. That is so sick that they tune the piano. Someone broke it. I don't know who broke it, but I mean, there's like so many Sims that just autonomously use it. I love the piano tuning in Sims 2. I don't think there is any other Sims game that has tuning in the piano. It's pretty cool. All right, now she's going upstairs. What's next? Cassandra, you don't have to clean those up, girl. You don't have to clean them up. You have a maid. Oh, he just she just shocked her brother. <laughs> he liked it. Oh, 
There we go. She got our second bump. So 24 hours, which will be 10 a.m. is when she'll give birth, which is good. She will give birth at 10 a.m. <laughs> Since the animations are top tier, yeah. Mm, change your mind. If we get that same quality in some time, I'll be so happy. Yeah, I'm not holding my breath. I'm just gonna play the games that we got now. You know what I mean? It's like I don't know. I'm not one. I'm not good at waiting. I'm like not a patient person, so I will just stick with Sims 2 probably. I get all the gratification I need from a simulation game from the Sims 2, so I also don't need like the 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 social aspect that the sims 5 is like so heavily promoting like i don't need that i don't know i've never had a necessity to play like a sims online game you know it just doesn't appeal to me it doesn't excite me so yeah all right i might just do speed three i don't want to I, I gotta keep an eye on cassie and not speed up the game too much because she is pregnant after all you know her pregnancies have been pretty mild sometimes i cannot i'm like struggling to keep my pregnant sims alive but you know she's not doing too bad so she's doing pretty good all right go eat this child is tired i don't know how he has a nice bed upstairs he doesn't sleep so i think everyone's done their homework actually he might his homework is upstairs i haven't checked yeah he didn't do his homework i'm getting on top of the homework though like damn Oh, she's hiding her diary from her sister. <laughs> she's like, I want to talk to you, Belladonna. Let me tell you a dirty joke I just heard. Dad told me a dirty joke. Let me tell you it. <laughs> um, She's chatting with her now. I wonder if she has a similar personality. Oh, wow. Yeah, she has Dawn's. Bonnie has her dad's personality. She's sloppy. She's outgoing. She's active. She's kind of grouchy. Very playful. She's just like her dad. Oh, my gosh. She like, look at this. She almost has an identical personality. The only thing is, Bonnie's a little bit more playful and a little less uh, active than her dad. But for the most part, she has an identical personality to her dad. Okay, Dawn sent some money to Stevie for child support. Dawn is just hammering away on this piano. Listen to this guy. He is a prodigy. Hi, Weird Science. How are you? This man is a prodigy. Look at him go. He's just hammering away. Crazy. Right, let's uh, let's get Cassie all in a good mood because the headmaster is going to be coming soon. Make sure everyone... I, I can't believe I have to do this stupid headmaster scenario again. I honestly don't mind though because it's pretty quick. If it was longer, I would be a little bit upset. Dawn cannot cook. Right. Okay. Yeah, he's just going to get some leftovers in. Ali and AJ were in Sims 2. I did not know that. My favorite Ali and AJ project is Cowbells. That movie goes so hard. I remember I watched, they like reran it like 30 times on Disney Channel. And you bet your ass I watched every single rerun of Cowbells. When they work at the dairy farm. Oh my god, I ate that shit up. That was like my favorite movie as a kid. That and um, what else did I watch? I watched, I watched a lot of like Disney Channel movies. The... Uh, Lizzie McGuire one when they went to Rome. That one was good. I forgot what it's called. Do you do it again for each him? No. If you do it once for the whole household, it sends them all to, to private school. So just once. I just have to do it once. It's not too bad, but I did have them already all in uni. I think, or not uni, um, private school. I think it's because maybe I have the headmaster come over again to get the kids in private school. I don't know though. I tried flirting with the headmaster and for some reason the game doesn't register as jealousy? What? Really? That's interesting. Oh, Brooks just gave his brother a nookie and he didn't like it. <laughs> he did not like that. He was not, he was, he was not into that. All right, I'm gonna have uh, Cassandra come down here and serve some pork chops for dinner for everybody. And hopefully there'll still be enough for the headmaster when he gets here in a couple of minutes. Dawn needs to get off. Oh my god. Emma left us flowers. I gotta delete those real quick. I don't want to be the cause for any breakup. Yeah, I won't try it. I won't try it. 
I mean, the headmasters are nothing to write home about. They all have like the same template face, to be honest. And I don't get good vibes from the headmasters, honestly. All right, go in. Um, his name is BJ. We have a different headmaster for some reason. For whatever reason. Wait, where did the pork chop go? Oh my God, I think they blocked the pork chop making. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna, let's just give him a tour. The tour usually works because we have a really nice house. Let's go show him this. Oh, he didn't like it. He didn't like the tour or no, he didn't want the tour, I guess. Let's, let's show him that room. We're gonna show him this room too. Show room, let's show him the kitchen. Let's show him the dining room actually. The dining room is nicer. He was not a fan of the, oh, we did make pork chops. Okay, I guess we did. Nice. I hope we have enough food to to last for all the sims. All right, come in here. Let's show them the kitchen. Come here. <coughs> come here, BJ. What are you doing? Just standing around. I will say the game too. BJ the headmaster, yeah. I remember someone said it was a dirty joke by naming... Oh, the BJ the head... Oh, that, that makes a lot of sense. I never even put that together. <laughs> Okay, let's call him for dinner because we do have extra plates. So we'll call him for dinner here. And then that should get them in uni. Oh, he just jacked a plate of pork chop. Nice. He's gonna get like two bites because someone already chewed through that one. Answer the damn phone, please. I hate when the phone rings. It's annoying. Um, hi, I'm Nina. Why is Nina calling a teenager? No, I don't want to go downtown with you, Nina. Get away from me. Finn is like her stepson too, which is interesting, to say the least. Think you're playing an older Sims game? Of course. I'm just happy it exists, to be honest. Oh, he didn't really like the pork chop. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, that's actually very bad because we already did the house tour. We're gonna have to schmooze him now, or we can tip him, I think too. Yeah, we can. Wait, can we not tip him? Hmm. We can just try to schmooze him. Schmooze him a little bit. Cassandra is very well rounded, so the schmooze should be good. We we'll have to schmooze him again. A phone ring for hours on end. It's so. Oh, 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 oh. Stop, 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 stop. Go use the bathroom. I think we might fail the headmaster scenario, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um. It's looking grim. It is looking very grim because I gave him food. He only ate like half the plate. Okay, let's have Bonnie try and schmooze him. Let's try that. All right, hi. Uh, I'm really rich. He liked it. Okay, can we do it again? Oh shit, I think we're screwed, guys. All right, about work? She doesn't work though. How are you gonna schmooze him? Oh, wait, we're, we're a couple points away. About money, we have money. We have money. We have a lot of money. Yay, I did it. Okay, thank God more options popped up. Otherwise we would have been absolutely screwed. How often are they gonna meet with the zoo? I know, I know. Wait, it's not. Are you gonna let me in? Oh, I think he has to talk to. You. Oh, okay, never mind. All right, so everyone got into private school again. Hopefully, that'll be the last time I have to do that stupid scenario. All right, let's send uh, Cassie to go to sleep. I know they like expensive food like lobster. Yeah, I had her cook some pork chops, and he only gave it like a 14, which is weird because that's one of the more expensive meals, I think. The child is just bouncing off the freaking walls, which is just great. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Thank you, pizza. I will save. First and last. Yeah, as though it wasn't like the fifth time I had to do the headmaster scenario. All right, so all we have is like 12 hours and then Cassandra gives birth and then I'm probably gonna finish the rest of the rotation off screen just so next time we stream, we can like pick up with a new family. I don't like to split the rotations into two separate streams because I feel like I'm like wasting time. So is everyone in a good mood? Let's check up on everybody. Yes. I also need to make sure did Bonnie's, I think Bonnie's aging is good now. I think I fixed it. Yeah. I don't know why she's like a different age than her, her or service siblings that she was born in like the same breath. Put in a new save slot. If only, if only. Everyone in the Sims 3 claims up and down that that works but i don't notice any i know i don't notice any difference when i do save as guys i'm not gonna lie okay i'll say it i'll say it i don't notice a difference man listen if you have 
If you've experienced differently, I'm happy for you. All right, so we only have like three days left with the teens and then they will be sent off to college. So by the end of this rotation, they're gonna be out of my house. I mean, I only do it as a means to have a backup. Oh, see, but I have people on my channel, Acid, who claim up and down that that improves performance. And I don't think it does because you're just copying the same save file over. Like, it does, I don't think it changes anything, honestly. We get a coupon? Yeah, we got a coupon. Oh, he's hanging out with his daughter out in the rain, playing some catch. All right. Put on speed three. So I think she should be giving birth at 10 a.m. if I am correct. Is that when she got her first bump? I think it was. It's the same for me too. Yeah, I have people though that claim that it really does something, but I, I'm, I think it's like a placebo effect. I do. I think it's a placebo effect. All right, can we all get to bed here, <laughs> please? Can I send all these children to bed? I didn't want to deal with you guys anymore. No offense, but I don't. Where's Belladonna? She's not in her bed. She's eating. All right, I think everyone's asleep now. Um, once Belladonna gets to bed, I'm pretty sure. Yes, thank God no one got sick because this household would, I think they would all die if they got sick because just when you live in close quarters like this, the sickness just passes through each other like no one's business. Or what are you gonna do with that so many kids in every family? I don't know. I wish my Sims would stop like reproducing so much, but oh, she burnt the omelet. You burnt the omelet, Cassie. No, now you gotta make more. I don't like serving my Sims burnt food, I don't know. Cause I, I wouldn't wanna eat burnt food, you know? And I want the best for my Sims. I don't want them to be like, grossed out by the burnt food. Cassie has a day off cause she's preggers. I never clean up all this. Hopefully no one's up yet. Oh God, the kids are starting. The horde is, the horde is here. The horde is here to eat breakfast. <laughs> Not the omelet. I hate omelets in real life. I don't like the smell of an egg. It just grosses me out. Just the, the stench of an egg just is not it. Like I'll eat, I'll eat an egg, um, but not like flat out. It has to be in something else. All right, go grab some food. You're hungry. Thank you for the hydration check, by the way. This will be probably the final hydration check. Water tastes good. I like water. Smells like fart. Sometimes, depends what, what you eat in that day, honestly. I don't like, I just, I can't stand an egg. And also the texture of an egg when it's like squishy. It's just not for me, I think. It's just not for me. All right, let's send, we gotta keep an eye on Cassie. She is giving birth very shortly. I wish you would stop talking to her family. I get you love your family, Cassie, but. Oh, she cooked a burnt ass muffin this is the most charred muffin next to cassie's charred omelet interesting all right cassie's waddling her way to the bathroom i think this is it i think this is it guys i think this is it oh 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 okay this is what we're doing to push out the baby okay interesting was not expecting that. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I guess this is the ways we're using to to induce Cassie's labor. <laughs> Wait, she's sleeping naked. That's funny. She just woohooed. Now she's sleeping naked. All right, let's see how many hours is she till she gives birth. Let's see. It's gotta be like two, right? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she's overdue. She's supposed to have her baby by now. She's 72. Oh wait, no, I think it's 74 hours pregnant, right? No, I think it's 72. I think three days is 72 hours, right? Yeah. So she's an hour overdue. They gotta induce that labor. They gotta induce the labor. Any minute now, any minute now, Cassie. Come on, you can work it out. Come on, work the babies out. It's gonna be quads. I can already feel it in my blood. Should we do it? Wait, I, we, oh my god, I, I wanted to do a baby prediction, but it's too late, I think. I forgot to I forgot to start it earlier. Come on, Dawn. So I'm trying to induce, I mean, you can continue, actually, continue to induce her labor. That's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Come on, Cass. Any minute now, any minute now. Oh, there we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, finally, it took her forever. 
<laughs> it's gonna be multiples. I feel it. I know it's gonna be multiples. Oh, okay. Do you want to pick the number? I forget random. I think I want to click random. Right? I don't want to pick. Original just keeps the base game. I think it's random. I think it's just one. Yay! It's just one baby! Yeah, thank God. This is Cassie's only time where she's had a single. Oh man, thank God. Look at all the kids in the background. <laughs> oh, it's a baby invasion. In I can't see anything. Hello? <laughs> there we go. There's just the singular. Oh, okay. Or it can cover up their face. Alrighty. It like perfectly blurred it. Alright, Cassandra's staying home. And it's a baby boy. We need an A boy name. What should we name him, guys? Someone said Amon. Amon. Um, let me look up A boy names. A boy names. I need to see what names I've already used. Brandy already had some kids. What did I use there? Just to make sure I don't repeat. Oh, uh, it's on my. Okay, so we already use Asher, Aiden, and Adrian. Acer? Acer, like the laptop brand? <laughs> Alejandro. Aaron, Axel. Axel's cute. We can do Axel. Axel Lothario. There we go. Axel Lothario. Adorable. Look at all these kids. Oh my god. Now she wants to have 10. Now she wants to have 10. Lovely. And we have no room in this house. <laughs> we have no room. This is our last open room and it was like supposed to be the skill building room. Look at her. She's surrounded by her family and the gardener. The gardener decided to come by. Everyone's checking out the baby. Even the maid and the gardener. That's lovely. Welcome to the world, Axel, where you have a million siblings. <laughs> Bonnie's excited. She's like, I have another sibling. Everyone's like getting routing problems because there's so many sims in this house. I think we're stuck. Bonnie can't get out. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, congrats, Cassie. She's so happy. She's like happy to have another baby. She doesn't mind. She doesn't mind that she's had like almost 10, nearly 10 kids come out for her. She's, she's, she's okay with it. She's so happy. Let's see if I can, I'm trying to like crop the kid on the right out. Harlow, her name is, I'm trying to crop her out. Um, anyways guys, I'm gonna end stream right there because it has been three hours. I hope you guys did all enjoy. Uh, friendly reminder, next week there will not be a stream. I am moving out of this storm room, thank God. So this is, this was my last stream in the storm i'm not sad about it in the slightest so yeah lothario legacy is never gonna cease i know there's gonna be lotharios like 20 generations in the pleasant view it's gonna be great <laughs> all right guys i will catch you all saturday after the next one two weeks two weeks from now uh and i'll see you on youtube throughout the week so anyways guys see you all then bye